Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's tutorial, we will see how to add the worker node. So in order to add the worker node using Ambari tool, you have to log into the Ambari tool using admin user. Go to the host. Once you click on the host, it will give us what are the currently available nodes in this environment. We can see only one um, node is available. <coughs> now you, you will be able to see the actions. What are the actions we have? We can add the new host, we can filter the host, we can see all the hosts. So just click on the add new host. So it will give us one wizard where we have to provide the various steps such as install option, confirm host, assign slaves and the client configuration review install start and test and summary so these are the steps we have to go through so first thing we have to provide the target host so we will provide the host name as a node 2 and node 3 for now then we will require the private ssh key so we will go to the desktop and select this SSH key file. Once you provide that, at the bottom you can select a register and confirm. It will give us a warning because the node names are not fully qualified, but that is okay for this demo. So it will just take us time to confirming the hosts. after confirmation we might see <coughs> some of the warning message like some warning uh, like potential warning message or the problem but we can ignore those problem for this demo in real time if you see such a warning uh, like particularly in the production environment do not ignore such errors or warning just fix before to do any anything about that or before taking any action on that so this is the warning message that is fine then we have to click the next button y even we can say this success success but some warning message that is fine we got the confirmation confirmation message but here we got the warning Host checks fail on some of your hosts. It is highly recommended that you fix this problem first before proceeding to prevent potential major problems with cluster installation. Are you sure you want to ignore these warnings and the proceed? Click on OK. Once you click, it will go to the assigned slaves and the clients. So out of this um, assignment of the slaves and client select the new uh, data node for both the nodes select node manager as well and select the client as well once you select that click on the next button it will ask us to configure uh, the groups for each of the service what are the groups by default are associated we will select those and click on the next those are the appropriate Let's click on the next the next page is review where all the property money which configured we are able to see if you want to we can go through the property and check everything is looks fine if everything is fine click on the deploy button then we have to monitor this activity so to, there are 12 tasks there so this will take a couple of um, minutes to complete this activity currently it is 4% it includes the both the nodes node 2 and node 3 if you remember we actually provided the node 2 and node 3 name this convention is because um, 
we have to follow the same convention for the all the nodes our node 1 name is node 1 that's the reason we have provided node 2 and node 3 similarly if you are going to use some some more nodes like node 4 and node 5 you have to follow the same convention uh, let me provide you some information about the assignment of the slaves the assigned slaves and the client window when we
we can see the two nodes are successfully got installed click on the next button to see the summary so here is the summary of the installation process cluster consists of three hosts and those are successfully installed it took 5 minutes and 43 seconds click complete and in this view we are able to see all the three currently available nodes so we'll uh, these are the alerts we will fix in the upcoming or the next time whenever we start our next session so this is the way by which we can uh, actually add the worker node so we added two worker node in current environment i hope this tutorial will help you to add the a session or to add the worker node in in your existing application so if you see currently even the alerts are getting mi minimized automatically thank you for watching the video if you have any questions about hadoop then you can mention in the video below do not forget to subscribe my channel for further updates thank you and have a nice time